I think it is pretty obvious that in this day and age, all websites have to look good on all devices. And we can assume that everyone will be looking at our website from our desired device, in this case, a laptop. Most people access websites from their phone, and we need to cater for that. And actually, we've already done it. On our designs, you can see that we've designed for desktop, and we've also thought about the layout that we want for mobile. So that is fine. But how do we actually apply these designs into Framer? Now, Framer by default, when you open this site on mobile, it will scale everything. So everything will look very small and that's not what we want. We just want to make sure that it looks good and accessible. Now, the good thing is that we've designed using auto layout or stack. So adapting it to mobile shouldn't take that long, although it requires a bit of finessing. We are going to add a breakpoint for mobile and you can see that everything looks off and that is fine we are going to tweak that the first thing is that we are going to adapt our navigation we are not going to do any fancy menu for now i'm going to leave that for a bonus lesson that you can watch later but we are just going to make sure that you can access each one of those links so we are going to create a variant here and i'm going to give it a size and i'm going to say that this variant is 390 because that is the size that our device has here. So I'm just going to copy that. And instead of having these three links next to each other, I'm going to put them as a vertical stack. And I'm going to leave a bit more space, I'm going to say 35. And I'm just going to make sure everything is center aligned. And we are going to go with that. So here, instead of having this variant one, I'm going to say variant two and make sure that it looks good. Perfect. Second thing is the header. Now, first thing that I notice here is that my name is huge and I don't want it that huge. So let's reduce the font size. Cool. You will see that everything has duplicated. So now we have layers for desktop and layers for phone. So you can quickly access each element on our phone device. So I'm going to say 42. And we have this tag here as well that is sitting next to each other. So instead of horizontal, I'm going to say vertical and I'm going to say left align. Okay, that's already working, but can you see there's a lot of padding around it? We don't need that much. So I'm going to select the whole stack. And instead of having here, we can leave the 200 for top and bottom, but we are gonna say 20 here and 20 here. And that's already much better. I'm just going to give it a bit more space. Instead of space between, I'm going to say start. I don't need that much. I'm just going to add 15. And that already looks much better. That's perfect. Let's go ahead with these sections. So we are going to need to be clever here. First of all, for this whole section, I'm going to change the same padding that we had for the one above. So instead of 80 right and left, I'm going to say left. And that's already a bit better. I'm going to change the font here. So I'm going to say 24. But now I need to go into each component, the same thing that we've done for our navigation and change it here so it can adapt for each one of our projects. So let's go inside our project component. And again, same thing we've done with the navigation. We are going to create a variant that is 390 width. And the first thing that I'm noticing is that this project title is huge. So let's change that font size as well. It's going to be 42. The project type will be 24, which is already good. And 24 for the year, which is perfect. And now on our phone design, we're going to select the component and make sure it says variant two. And it looks okay in terms of sizing, but it's doing weird things because it extends beyond what we need it to be. We're going to go back to the component and this project title, we're going to make sure it says fill. We're going to leave it as space between. And under the project details, we're going to say with as fill, just to make sure this project title takes as much space as possible without going over the year one. When we go back to our home page, this should be fixed now. Notice there isn't much spacing between the title and the year when the title is long. And we can fix this by saying instead of space between, we can say start and adding that gap of 50, which should fix this. And that is, yeah, that's 
perfect. That's exactly how we want it to look. So now let's go ahead and tweak font sizes that look a bit too big for my taste. I'm going to say 38. And we are going to fix this footer the same way that we've done it with our navigation. So we are going to create another variant. We're going to give it a width of 319. We are making sure this is a vertical stack. We are going to give it not that much padding and let's center it. And now we select the footer and we say variant 2. And that is perfect. That's exactly how we want our mobile version to look. Everything will be connected the same. It's just the layout that we've changed just to match our designs, which is perfect. Cool. Let's go ahead and tweak the project pages and the about page as well. 